Hi everyone, and uh, welcome, I'm the Elder Irish, welcome to Sable, this new game that came out today. I'm willing to try it out, uh, see what it's like. It kind of caught my attention in E3, kind of the kind of cartoony art style, um, different style of game here, it's kind of a bit of an indie kind of thing. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. Um, thanks for tuning in on this kind of random day. I don't really do too many live streams on this time of the week, but with the game only coming out today and I had access to it straight away so I thought I'd jump straight on it and the game kind of interested me so I hope you guys enjoyed this so let's get the game up and as you can see I haven't done anything yet so let me know how the audio sounds let me know if it sounds any kind of off in sort any sort of way quiet right now but uh, let's start a new game thanks for tuning in guys So I haven't done anything in this game yet. I literally only downloaded it today. So uh, I if, the, or if it's too loud or too quiet, I just just drop me a comment and let me know what you guys think. So let's jump into it. Yes, I'd like to start a new game. It's kind of like an adventure game, jumping and scaling. Uh, don't know too much about the story. I know you're just trying to. F um, I think it's a trying to find a way through a desert or something like that. Be interesting though. hand drawn nearly comic book so well, here's our hero I guess we figure out what's going on now. What exactly we have to do? Crazy, kind of weird art style, but I'm liking it. I jump, I know how to jump. Right, obviously we climb that. I'm gonna go up there. What's down here? Alright, I'm just kind of. I always get distracted. I always have to search everything. The dust is floating through the air. What? What? Why? I can just climb random walls. It's really weird. Is that like white box? I guess my tiredness. Right. 
We're outside. Go down. Go this way, the other jump looks too high. Sprint. Yeah, so that white box is your stamina bar, I guess. Adex camp. Okay. Something over there too. Well, we want to search everything. I don't know how long this game is. I actually know very little about this game. There wasn't much on it. I just <laughs> I seen that it was uh, came up my newsfeed during the week. It was coming out, and I or I remember seeing it. I remember seeing this game on the E3. I could feel Jaddy smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous. She's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. Daddy, you know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? And yet, what should we say? I know, I know. I tell Jaddy I know. But that isn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you're fine. But I know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you're, you've been doing it your whole life. Remember, the first time you rode a bike, you wouldn't even let me put you, you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were little claws gripping onto them. Feel the memory in my fingers. Daddy, I promise. Oh, sorry, Daddy. But I promise you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I loved riding the bike as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt in through the fabric. Suddenly you were. Suddenly there you were. You sat, you learned, leaned forward and you put those little grasping claws handle, on the handles and you were off. I remember thinking. Just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Daddy reaches out and places her hand on the edge of my mask. And you can't stay able. Take a breath. Hmm. I think we're ready. Why not? I don't know much about this, but this jumps right in. Thank Jaddy. I thank Jaddy for the encouragement. I tell her with a nod that I think I'm ready. I know you are. But let's get you started. You'll need to talk to Alla and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike. And Alla will, be sh uh, will share something. Well, let's say as useful as it's fun, huh? I think I might suspect that Jaddy is saying what Jaddy is saying, but I, I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you even left. That's good advice. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it, to choose well and quickly, so I don't go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, uh, you do with my blessing. So try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? Oh, don't try. Now go speak to Hala. Hilla? I'll be here, I'll be there to see you off. Speak to Driss as well. I told him to arrange your bike with Sistro. 
but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I use on my building. And an artifact, you may say. I take to the voice in my palm, it fits naturally there. Perfectly weighted and crafted, each component slides together with incredible satisfaction and precision. Thank you. Go on, go on. It's nearly time. So it just tells me which direction I have to go. Start the hilla. As I approach hilla, they give me, give me an enthusiastic wave. I always appreciate Hilla's uh, verve and vigor. And on this day like this, I am ready to match. With a touch of nerves and balance. Sable, so take this. Hilla hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Hilla's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like a static on cloth. What, what is this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but Hilla, what, what this is? Oh, Sable, you can leave it, you, you can't leave without it. I've just given you a gilding stone. What do you feel? I tell Hill I feel electricity? Yeah. And you're doing it right. What you feel is in that stone is openness. Look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gilding stones are vessels for uh, for the perpetual. They snuck up its they snuck up its power like little sponges and hold it there. For you to channel. Right. It's empty or dormant. I'm waiting for you to fill it up. I ask, how can I do this? Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. And you'll be able to activate it there. It claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at this time like this. Come back to me once it's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Hilla stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet? Have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple. Cositrus. He ha was meant to have it all ready for you. Remember Jada's words now. And tell Hilla I'll go see this. Oh. Go have a look at our bike, I guess. Hello there. So I thought, so I have told myself not to be be too eager. If all I can do is not race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get hold of lately, but I. Now I'm strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret, perhaps extra beautiful, or as some custom feature. What will it be? What 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 will its name be? I wonder. How fast will it go? Will my legs s feel sore, or will I get to use it? Chris turns with a bit of a start. Stable or, or hello. Hello, how are you today? Yeah, that's just how he is. I'm um, well. Let it uh, hang for a moment, <laughs> but I can't do it. I'm too keen. I'm too keen. And the words spill out. I asked Tris if uh, he might sort of possibly maybe have my bike ready for me. He yells like it, it's an idea he just had. Your bike? Yes, of course. Right. Yes, your bike. That's what I was meant to. Do. That I prepared for you because today is your 
building, yes. Chris nods along with me. Yes, of course, right. Yes, 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 I have done that right. My blood runs cold. He's forgotten. By which I mean I've arranged it for you in a, well, a sort of tutorial for you. Tutorial? Yes, exactly. A learning experience. You see, Sable, before you can own their own bike, one can own their own bike, they must provide that they can ride a bike, taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it, and I find I've never heard of that part of the gilding. The drift does seem uh, earnest of sort. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike, a test. This gestures at the sand color at the side. It's quite old and a little shabby. Tester, if I've ever seen one. I'll give it a go. Really? I mean, yes, good. Be gentle though, the sand color is old. Uh, older than Jerry. Treated with respect. Now, ride the bike. Do the ring and back. And there's... And here's some advice. For you, young gilder. Don't fall off. You can go side to side. It's pretty simple. Not too hard. Go to the ring. Real bike ready. I turn to Driss. Somehow manages to see him cut off guard despite it knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations. That was your first pre guild ride. Any strange rattles on the plane hissing, small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely, you'd notice that there was a fire, even a little bit. Yes, absolutely. Well, obviously it didn't happen, so uh, I think we're fine. Chris is the bike ranges. Well, he doesn't finish. Have you been by Hilla? Yes. I'm not getting a bike, but you're getting the use of the sand color. That's something, huh? You can borrow it to run little errands. My little errands? Hilla got something to show you. Help you out with a bit more uh, mobility after. With my confidence in the in this exercise li only lightly tarnished, I think Triss very much for his help and his bike I had to part for Hilla. How do I? It's not doing anything from here. Oh, there we go. What's oh, glitching out me again? Hang on. What is going on? Okay, let's try. Oh, let me close the screen. Let me zoom in and out.
Okay. Two seconds, guys. We're gonna see what's going on here. Okay, so let me select all this stuff. Guess we can equip our equipment. How do I? This is glitched out, definitely. Yeah, let me pop out this real quick. I'll close the game down, reboot it up. Hopefully that fixes it. You always have brand new games, guys. That's the thing that can happen. Ran into a bit of a glitch there. Blowing it back up now. Please save me. I don't have to do all that again. I'll continue. What was going on there? Hope we can get on with our journey. Very slow start, but kind of a chill game, you know. I think he just wants me to go talk to Hilla though. Let's go back up to the guy. Let's check our compass though. Dumar is a man of few words. There's nothing if uh constant. How did we get back up there again? <laughs> so it has a day nice cycle. What's this thing? Post box? Stable, unread messages, have a good day. Okay. So I guess I gotta go to that temple place. Okay. Right, I thought I was getting a good bike first. Let's go take his little uh, crappy bike that's here. Oh wait. Why can't I see it on when I'm driving this vehicle? I guess I'm going over. Whoa. 
camera angle is kind of weird. It pulls you all over the place. I'm guessing this is the place. I'll check my uh, compass now. Pop off. Let's leave that there before we blow it up. I'm not here yet. This is so confusing. Okay. Accelerate. Whoa! <laughs> this is not like to go off ledges. Just dips down. There was a lot of smoke coming out of this thing. Oh, time it was fast. 12 o'clock at night already. I just didn't have the quest activated while it wasn't shown for the first time, so if you're playing, just make sure you do that. Here, should I have gone back there? Or I find somewhere around the back? No, oh, I have a feeling I have to climb this thing. Alright. Oh, what's the stones? <laughs> Slide, let's go. That's weird looking, it's like a big moth man. Expecting that. drums at the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. I have 
afraid? Am I exhilarated? Or maybe it feels right? Uh, let's be exhilarated, right? This is quite exciting time. I'm ready for Rohanna to know me. I'm ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. Kind of not sure what they're talking about, but if it, hopefully we figure this out. Nice bit of color now. It's very gray there a few minutes ago, I found. Don't get crushed. Okay, it's floating this is the top, I guess. Are you conscious? Let's table, get up. How do we even see? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, how do we even see? She has holes in her. Nice. We can float in the orange ball. Does this last forever? I don't trust that. So they're gonna break. Uh, we have to go down there anyway, so. down Boom. I guess it lasts as long as we stay off the ground I guess we go okay we need to get back out there somehow so we're gonna climb this wall I guess no way we're gonna be able to climb all the way up there I guess you find another way out. Oh, I see. We really should have went on the other side. I screwed it up. Did we go grey when we go back in here again? What? Stop climbing walls. If that's some freed all over again, what Grabbing on their brain. Yes, take me upstairs, please. Up. Yes, I know how to do the power. Okay, we need to go around that way. Wait. Like we never got this power, we would have been stuck in here until someone came and found us. Good thing we got our powers. We would have been dead. Whoa. Yeah. 
I guess we can just float into a bike now. Oh, my bike moved. Look at the color now. This is what I seen in the trailers. Doesn't look so good. Right, back to the little village. What's the balloons for? I didn't even notice that big spiral there earlier. I'm back. That's my quest. Okay, let's go show Hilla the stone. That guy over there. <laughs> when I return to Villa, it's clear that they did not they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf. In a way that makes me miss the them before I left. I even left. But it only happened like two seconds ago, come on. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Trained him a little queasy. Safe like a warm hug. Exciting. True freedom. I tell Hilly the hovering is exciting and the ramble for a moment about all the things that I've been able to do when I'm out there in the world. Most of them involve me falling on my head and not getting hurt but I'm sure I'll come up with more in practice right you can do anything you want this mood doesn't darken but the side that it let out holds a bit of sorrow you're very lucky you know I miss it so much that feeling just floating on the breeze but I suppose it's best that it fades for the age huh? or Else I might have even come back. I might have never come back from the gilding. I just be out there having having even my, myself into chasms. I'll heave myself into chasms for you. Okay, we'll say that. I tell her that I throw myself into a thousand chasms on their behalf. And they giggle. That's what I, what I like I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know I don't know what that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a lot of serious focus. Hill laughs, even if it's a bit strange of a regret in it. I certainly haven't got to that. Still I suppose a gilding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss. Hmm? I think about that, but decide that there is already too much loss on my mind to consider much further. I'm saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home and my childhood. To lose perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're gonna love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My voice is try have fun and there's lots to be said about ritual and independence and all that out there. But the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Killa for their voice and for their help and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. Warning. And reassurance all in one. I say goodbye. Before you go, Hilla suggests towards the tower. 
seems Cecil, Cecil, Cecil wishes to see me for a late clan. Cecil, I guess that's how you'd say his name. So let's climb the tower, I guess. Who's this guy? As she looks across the landscape, Zeke's shoulders sags a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Something on your mind? This fight's weekly intentions. I don't know how she does it. That's Ellera over there. Following her graze to a little to a little speck in the distance, which I know I now understand is her daughter, Ellera. Does she need help? Vicky shakes her head. No, she's fine. I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. Run up the tower. Okay. though is an elk planner is an elk planner to Ivexi but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall and I think of her mo more as a kind of distant relation than an outsider mechanists I'm told are given their posts and by training and their code must go to where they're needed it's Izo has been among us for so long that it's easy to get an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she's one of us. I think there is a purpose a preconception among the other clans that Bexy are quite insular and designated of Bexy uh, versus Outlanders. It's just that nervousness uttering of those you are unlike us. Okay. In practice, such things are more of a result of a nomadic uh, nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who must leave behind. But all are welcome to join. I'm always pleased that Cesar did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? Can I only think of one? I can only think of one thing. Better now I'm getting a bike, excited for my bike. A bit worried about I'm a bit worried. Am I really getting a bike? Tizo has a trolley quality in her voice. It rumbles through her mass when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most of the days. I'm always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Shaddy. Tell me how excited you were. Tizo sniffs. Told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together. But I think he may have. I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say it out loud. I tell her I'd just clear my throat. I don't begrudge Driss for his forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might have just as uh, scattered. And besides, this would be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hover bike parts yourself. That sounds like an adventure. Why not? I tell Zizo. I like the sound of that. A little adventure before a big one. It's more meaningful than, than you know. It's a bond one's bike before it has taken form into a, a privilege than a labor. Here, take this. Navigator. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints in your compass. Uh, it should be useful in finding all parts. As these are where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in ruined ships, fragments spread apart. A good part would be 
But let's start with the ship down there. We need to come. They find another opa on the rock and near another side of the canyon. And another behind the old dam on the hill. Use the navigator to mark down if you need. You need to gather a patrol panel, a power supply, and a, cal a calibrator. I'll be back for you know it. That's easy, I'll see you soon. And head off in search of the components. Together we'll create something new out of the old. Okay, so we're scavenging parts now. Using the navigator, <coughs> press uh, or B. Navigator, landmarks, and screen. Okay. So we wanted to go to the old ship that was over here. Okay, there. And then we want to go to... No, she did the dam. There was another one after that then. Did the dam? I think they said there was one over here. I'll check anyway. Mm. Where did I park my bike? Start with the dam, I guess. The closest. Comic calibrator. I wonder what they do. Feels like the boost or something. I need some going up hills with that. Huh? <laughs> I looked away for a second and I'm climbing the wall, another ladder. God damn it.
opportunity to pack sail. Okay. Down here. I'm on full energy. Wait. Alright. Get down. Sail. No. Go, go, go. Yes. I guess I'm way harder than I needed to be, but... Kind of obvious. I wonder what happened. Did, they, did these guys crash land on this planet? Was a planet just <laughs> destroyed by war or something? Or we some alien race on this planet? Like Mars or something? Okay. Yeah, I don't want to go too traveling, traveling too far without my bike. I'm forever, get everywhere. Okay, let's go back out to the next area. So we got the we got one of the items anyway. Try find this other area. It's set in the canyon, so I'm guessing either over there or was one over here. We need to find another ship. I'm sure, there's one to my left or one in that between that canyon there. That's where I thought she said, but find atomic calibrator and car below. What did we find? That's where we did our training, so I doubt it's there. I don't think it's there. I think it's there. I don't think. to this thing here. Let's check this whole ship out anyway. At least we know I can guarantee there's one over here. Weave around the rocks. So you know what this thing does to you. Way, way, way. Okay. 
bien vu. There's nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I know it's a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Oh shit. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. Very audible. Stop messing about with the buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Raman. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it, it, it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right, it feels. Let's see if the old mechanist told us holds up. If not, they'll have to pay. There'll be hell to pay. I hear a sound of mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks, buttons being pressed, and perhaps. Okay. When I push the orange bl uh, thing, pull the lever handle hard. Yes, Raman. Then the click, loud grunt, or a snapping sound. Oh. On Raman's mask. That's not that hard. We torn it out. Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static and a low rumble and gradually increases pitch. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked, we're flying! More cheering as the sound of someone dancing. Okay, okay, let's focus. The thing is is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that? Let me check the uh, mechanism notes. Long pause, rumble, static. Sound started playing. And the ship took off. It's still increasing in pitch. Famine. The lever. Famine. Famine. The one that you've ripped out. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to record and cut stern. He puts the lever. He basically put it on full blast. Are you looking for a caliber? I'm usually on guard. Sonia has always been a mischief maker and taken tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I am older, more experienced, and should be more able to withstand it. In practice. You won't find it there. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never. He fails to get me. May I have it, please? I decided to be gentle and ask her for a please. May I have it? May I have it? Please have it. May may was terribly and high and screechy despite best efforts. Of oh well, too bad. Maybe you'll have to find it on your own. But I don't think so. So I laughs off my irritation. I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to affect and charge. I'll give you the calibrator. I'll give you the calibrator. I put your hand out, bow to myself, standing there for myself. If you give me some beetles. It's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. I try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator. But I simply uh, strifle a sigh and make her. Perhaps somebody else in camp know where I can find some. Oh, God damn it. Okay, so we need to find the calibrator and I keep this hidden it. Is it there another one though? There's three, wasn't there? Let's quickly have a look over here. Yeah, see those red wires up there? That has to be something, right? Fetch quests. 
Good idea. That's what this entire game is must be going to be. Okay, we're going in there. Should be able to climb this. That's not the way to go. Don't get off. That little, the little uh, the square box, dude. The stamina bar, stressing me out, man. Just remember this side up. Okay, I guess where we're going. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I feel like I'm going in the wrong direction. But if you go up here, I see. It. Let me get some height and jump over a bubble. It's gonna end here because it's just near. Cuts a cache of 100 cuts made from metal harvest from the crash ships. They have holes crushed, pushed in through the middle where a rope can be slid through and easy for convenience for transportation. Okay. So that's our money, I guess. They're using the precious metals from the spaceships or whatever it is. I don't even know if they're spaceships. I assume they are, though. Okay, don't we didn't find anything really over here. Let's go back to the top again and have a quick look before we give up over here and go do the kids' fetch quest. I'm kind of putting that off. I've had so many games where it's all fetch quests, but you know, if the story's gonna be good in this game, they're always, fetch quests are always worth it. They're, they're in the every game anyway, right? Stop climbing walls. I actually do that a lot. You just you literally just walk up the wall and just start to climb it, so. Sledge any chest here? Ah, uh, nearly.
climb this thing or what? It doesn't let me. Tree and I guess the other one's the fetch quest one, so let's go back down to our little uh, bike. Parked it down the bottom here, as far as I remember. Alright, let's highlight that quest. We have to ask our family, I guess. Do they have any beetles? Is that what these people eat? This is like Mars in the future, I guess. Or is the whole earth just turned into a desert now? I wonder. I didn't mean to jump on a bike like that, but let's go Sarah and some people questions. Hopefully this is gonna be easy. I could ask about catching beetles or that off little summer. You know where I can find some beetles? There's a nest of beetles just east of here. You can't walk up on one and catch it though. There's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop the seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. Hello, little glider. It's so strange when called that. I tell Jetty how strange it is. It's been called a glider instead of a uh, sable. Or even as clan child. Just trying to get used to it. Seems really, really, seems really, seems really to like it. And maybe I'd like it too. A little glider. Okay. Go east. There's our bike on again. Need to go east. And south. So that's north. You wanna go east? Should be over here somewhere, I guess. I got a butterfly. How far are you still? That's the question now, huh? I went as far as I could, I went against the wall, so I'm thinking that would be that far, but maybe it's more obvious, so let's... Head a little bit back to the camp here. Did we find anything obvious?
check around here. Stuff going on here. Maybe in this. Is that a beetle? The heck is that? Chums when planting themselves in the ground, perfectly smooth and hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float. And with how light they are, they must be a good place to deliver these. East, right? Unless... I wish there was a bit more. Yeah, I see. Wait, is that on the map? Are you serious? I'm more like Nordies. Huh? Look at the fumes coming out of this thing. <laughs> I'm driving the diesel. Okay. Jump up here. Now, this is where I was going to go in the first place, but obviously. Find some food or something. Okay, I see bills. So what did I eat? eat these things? Where's the seeds? I'm looking for your food, guys. Hang on. Hey, Wormy. Make. I to climb this thing. Good 
So I need to get through like a temp or what? There we go. That's what I had to do. Come on, Beetle. Let's knock more of these down, I guess. We just need to get one more. Or two more. Let's get these back to the kids so I'll show you though. That was easy enough. Now hopefully we just get our the last part we need for our bike. Hey kid. I feel embarrassedly addicted as I hand some of the beetles. But rather than gloat, she hands me the calibrator and begins to cry. What have I done? You're leaving. You're leaving. You'll never come back. Horse gets comforter, does it? Blows her nose and wipes. <laughs> Her hand in her tunic. Yarara has never came back after the guilding quest. Aren't you sad? You were her friend. I miss her too. Of course, let's miss her. Of course, you miss your friend. There being a better, there being a ladder, here and there, but it is always to us rather than to me. I'm not bitter, but I hope not to be like that. Please don't go. I tell Shema not to worry that I'll come back sooner than she knows. I'm sure she pouts behind the mask. I add I'm not I am not back sooner than she knows, then she will be ready for a gildan by then and she can come bother me herself. Promise? Yes. Good. Then I suppose I can come see you off. I thank her and say goodbye for now. Okay. We give our parts with so climb back up here. Fix our little thingy bike here. We get the tutorial on bike building now, huh? She was on the top, right? The running is crazy look. It, it feels like you're watching a cartoon or something, right? Thiso, is that her name? Up, climbing stuff. I return with the parts and she waves over me. That I have feeling a pang of sadness in my chest when I will see her again uh, once I'm gone. Will I, will I ever see her again? Well done, Sable. Yes. This is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? 
I'm ready. Yeah, let's head to the bookshop. Here we go. These are relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she particularly she's particularly rigid or anxious or or ordinarily, but she there's a certain calm beauty that one can only truly appreciate when she's those in her element. I wonder if it's the way for all machinists. But you must understand, Sayo. Is that the components you acquired? They fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They've always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her for w what she has already been. I nod and feel a sort of buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names held for ages like deep secrets unheard by those unequipped to listen. We find this one's name together. Okay. Wings in the last part, I guess. The front. Think. Listen. Tilt her head a moment, leaning closer. Simone. All at once, I uh, I know the hoverbrick's name. Simone. I say it like a whisper. You seem to have known. Simone. Simone. Well done, Sable. What does it mean? What does it mean? You should ask yourself. These are looks entirely serious. The bike is enduring surprise. It says nothing, even when I lean close. I tell Simone that I'm eager to know her better, and Cizo looks quite proudly at both of us. You are ready then, for the gilding. May all the gods turn their faces for you, Sable. Not blessing, perhaps, but Cesar is drawn to such things, and I can read in her tone it is meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Smon. Take care of her. Seek out fellow machinists on your travel sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and there, take this. And I didn't see what it was I was reading. Machinist badge, okay. Give me plenty of uh, ilk on your gilding. Show them your work, and they'll give you more batches. I think Cizzo twice I think Cizzo twice for good measure. I give a bow. I'm ready. We got our new bike. Okay. So we need to keep daddy. Jaddy, jaddy, jaddy. Sable, the cartographer landed in a balloon while you were away. You should speak with him. See if he, if you can't get a map. I nod and begin to go, but Jaddy gestures me back. Put something in my hand. Here's some money to get you going. Oh, nice, thank you. Use it wisely. 
and then a little unwisely <laughs> when the move strikes us. I, I mean to use that now. I'm gonna tell people someone that uh, <laughs> use it wisely and use a little unwisely. I like that. It's good to know the value of money, but never want to be ruled by it. That's true. I change Addy officially and head on my way. All right, let's check the map out. Zoom. I've seen a balloon, right? Yeah. There he is. How am I supposed to get over there? Let's land that. Here we go. Oh yeah, easy. Balloon was more fun than the person on it. <laughs> Look at his mask. I approached the photographer. Ah, greetings, child. I saw you looking longly at the great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? It really is. I know that enthusiastically. It really is an impressive vessel. However, nervous. I can imagine being up there all alone. I wonder if anyone's ever fallen off one. Best not that ass right now. Well, good to meet you. And oh, I should introduce myself. And Jordan. Jorod? Jordan? Sounds, sounds like I should be pronounced Jordan, I guess. I tell him I'm stable. Suppose if you've come all this way, it's probably in a map. You're after stable. Oh, I'd love a map. Does there a little map? Of course, it would be 50 cuts. Perfect. Let's trade then. First thing we ever bought, I guess. Buy one. As I'm Jordan, for the ear map. And that all is past possibilities. Something that it makes me feel more real. Good luck on your gilding sable. I'll remember. I still remember mine. I asked how it was. Short. I knew since I was a boy I was going to be a cartographer for, for me. But I spent a little extra time out there. Just enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies. Um, plenty of colleagues of mine out there. And they'll have more maps to sell you. For, from Akuda and Ak I go to to sciatic waste. I thank Jordan for the tip and say goodbye. Farewell, child. Okay. Check the rest of our quests here. Fair enough. Okay, let's do it at the final. Hopefully we can try our new bike soon. It makes me way okay, let's say stable. I have a badge for you. Oh stable, is that badge you've got there? Caesar gave it to me. I told Jay, Susan gave me the badge, and he must have earned it. Well done. I bow. Thanks. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for a master craster in no time. I try to think about going to mask craster. It seems impossible far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. Imagine choosing what I want to be forever. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you're out there. And once you've got all three, you've got three alike, you can trade. What is ma the mask? That's how they know they're what they do or gonna be or whatever. It's by masks. 
only at your final ceremony you'll be able to choose one. Why would I choose? You'll have to earn it. No, you'll have to feel it out. But when you know, you'll know. Now, tone of now puts flies in the back of my stomach. Well, with all of this done, there's only one thing left. It's time then, isn't it? Time to walk through the face door of Temple Rohana. There you'll assemble your building mask and go. There are things I wish to convey to Daddy here. Depths of love and gratitude and fear and worry and hope. And though I find myself unable to speak any of it in words, I know she understands. Or you leave, child. Oh, we got new clothes. I made these for you. They are dried. They are dyed with traditional Ibexi maroon. And I hope to provide you great comfort on your desert. When you leave today, you'll no longer be sable, clan, child of Bexy. You'll, you'll simply be sable, and the rest will come. But no matter what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I'll always know you. I'll always love you. And we'll see you again. Don't worry. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin. And I'm ready. Let's try our new stuff on. So, we can put a cape on. Chains. The trousers, or as Americans would say, pants. We have to make a new mask too, I think. Temple, I guess. I'm guessing this isn't the right one. No, it is. Cool. I guess now I have to get to these. Uh oh, didn't make it. Okay. Wish there was a bit more color for right now, it's very really dark.
enough so far. Okay. Follow the stairs, I guess. Oh, no, no. Oh crap. <laughs> okay. Let's try this without falling this time. chill that game huh not the usual game I play in my channel but this gear cell is draw, drawing me in oh, over here it'd be easier to see where I'm going the walls one, <laughs> wasn't one color We get our mask out. So, must be more to this. Uh, hope we can go actually wear the mask. Let's say. side and back in the color my bike fresh lamp Huh? Log in. 
It was fatal. Katie's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet it still warms me. It was fatal. This is it. By the time you hear this, we have all gone. The building is a journey that must be must begin alone. There's a certain nuance loss in the transmission, and for that I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weebly into her arms to stay forever. But I am ready. So I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you're not without friends. You're not without your family. You're not without love. And these things you'll always carry with you. As you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go see Lut Arari. They're, they're the machinist at Burnt Oak Station and among Cizo's closest friends. Lut Aries has a good contact to have on one's gilding and a fine way to go another machinist badge if you incline only a suggestion though. As for us, I send another message once you, we return to and where. The good will keep an eye on the post boxes and try not to forget us. It takes long breaths and I forget that things are as, e as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting stable. Good luck. Hey, my bike. Okay, can I wear my mask now? Okay, let's go. That's open now. That wasn't open earlier. If we can get more upgrades for a bike at least. I guess it's the next town I've seen in the distance.
off this guy. The music gets louder or something weird stages. close. Hello. Greetings. Greetings, photographer Sly. A little coward by how alone we are up here. A little, a little coward by how we're alone up here. And how intimidated the sun at times feels des despite it being so much about my gilding. She responds with the sounds of a warm smile. Hello there, Gilder. Thanks for taking the time to climb all the way up here. Sure, rain gets a little lonely sometimes, you know. I tell her I do. Given the how lonely I can get on the sands, sometimes I hope someone doesn't hear. But then, what do you need? What's worth looking nearby? Asked if there any worth looking nearby? She chuckles to herself. Of course, you don't think I am staying up here for nothing, do you? Have you been to the Great Wind Tower yet? Get up there. And you can see for ages. And Burnt Oak Station is close by as well. You'll never guess why it's called that. I think about it, but she goes on before I can shout out my prediction. And. If you're a fan of insects, there's a grind, gi gigantic Hercules beetles nest nearby. You know the rumor, as if they can lift 100 times their own body weight. Can I help you, Gilder? Uh, can I buy some more maps? I'll buy this. Thanks, Builder. Goodbye. Nice. Go back to Simone. D. There's no fear of falling in this game. Yeah, you're not gonna fall through that, you just you can always use that power, right? Get this old oak place, the burnt oak, burnt oak. Oh, I see it already. Big tree, all right.
I guess they're scrappier, I guess. Anybody in here? Hello. It's a challenge to not feud the scrappers. Though quite romantic limbs. As I looked towards my gilding as a child, I pictured myself as a dust covered traveler, exploring strange forbidden places and finding strange forbidden things. A church hunter, an old arcane objects. And though I am certain of the grid of shifting through sand and dirt for useful tools and and things left over can wear anyone down, I cannot help but wave some thread of fantasy into my reality of work. Greetings, Gilder. My name is Altayan. I bow and introduce myself. Sable. You find my scrap metal out there, Sable? It's been known to happen. Good, good. He leans back and looks up at the ceiling thoughtfully. That task for you then, if you're up for it. The hesitation in my voice is a product of gentle intimidation, but I stand up straight as casual enough and seem like I'm up for anything. Seems to believe it. Any scrap sale, lots of it. And uh, you got you out there already? Basically doing nothing. He chuckles to himself. Something to say. Couldn't say it like that, gilding. Harder. You have nothing to do, but you have everything to do. Wonder if anyone's ever spent their gilding just lying around. I don't know if that counts as gilding. I say with a smirk that I don't imagine th that would count as a gilding, but at the same time, I wonder if some people do go out and use their, their time simply to be by themselves in a safe reflective space. Would it matter as much to make the... Would it, ma would it matter much with a mass we choose if we found a purpose deep within? Oh, no, should I be doing that? He clears his throat and I'm great, grateful to be shaken off. Anyhow, the task. Let's see if you can understand this one. Yeah, it's a bit complex. I'll tell him already. Go find it, scrap, and bring it to me. How much do you need? How much you can carry? Yeah, I need that much. As many times as you can do it. Okay. fly around this little oak tree. Machinist looks over me. You're late. A what? For a meeting. One another. You ought to come here sooner. Uh, I asked Machinist, how do they know me? I don't know you. Not yet. Perplexed, I wait for an explanation of themselves, but they seem to wait for me. Briefly, I feel a hint of shame. I just remember times of being late among the Abexy things. I slipped up on doing, but I dismissed any doubts and I recall I have no idea who the stranger scene is when I asked them. My name is Yuturi, or immediate relevance to you is that I am a friend of Caesar. I asked them. If Caesar altered them to impending arrival of my impending arrival, perhaps she'd looked 
Oh, for me. That's just for waypoints. That's no, just me. And I'm like a, a comforting thought. No, no, no. It's your hover bike. <clears throat> I heard it for the first time months ago. Felt the shape of his voice, of her voice, sorry. Tell you, Terry, that it's. It was not Simon that they heard. Or Cizo and I only built a few days ago. Hence, they waved their hands at me. Very dismissal. Did Cizo teach you so little? The voices of machines are internal, more ancient even than their forms. I hear them, as I always have, and yours, I thought, would resist. He visits me sooner. But here we are. Now, let us speak. Why have you come? Our needs coverage atop the wind tower. Tell me more. Sometimes something has stopped the tower from working. I was hours away from going to see, my, see it myself. But you, Simone, come after all. Go there, mend what is broken, or soothe what is hurt, and I'll give you what you seek. Ask three if they know what I seek. I admit, I might not. A direction? I'll be waiting for you. Travel swiftly and safely. Goodbye. Yeah. We've got more quests, so he wants us to go to a windmill or something. But we are two hours in, guys, and I have been enjoying this game. We will come back to it. I'll do another live stream down the line. I don't know when exactly yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, I have, and uh, to pick this game up another time. Um, there is my Psychonauts videos coming out tomorrow, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in to my live stream of the new game, Sable. It has been fun. I hope you guys enjoy that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And the stream here with me. See you soon. Bye-bye, guys.